Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video on SLRE or Sebastian Lebrali Evolution. So we're here back on this game because your feedback on those first two videos I posted has been insane and you've been telling me to do the career mode. I did part one, it did pretty well in terms of the analytics and some comments said that where is the, the part two, like we need part two and I was like okay. Instead of Dead Rally 2.0, I'm going to be posting this. And for now, we're going to be doing our second championship for this first sector of this career mode. Which is the class 2 wheel drive again, but the pro championship. So probably I'm expecting some faster cars on this one, like the Saxo and the Swift. You know, these cars I'm really looking forward to. And some kit cars probably um, in between those cars. So let's see what this championship is really about. And let's get ready for it. Let's do this. This category is composed of the leading two-wheel drive cars. These cars are designed for professional drivers, capable of bringing out their full potential. The category includes classic cars, such as the Citroën Saxo kit car, and more modern models like the Toyota GT86 CSR3 and the Suzuki Swift S1600. They all offer excellent performance, and when they hit the track, they can put on a show that gives more powerful models a run for their money. So these are pretty much the cars. Uh, if you remember from the first video that we posted on this game, we actually tried the 98 uh, Saxo kit car, and it was such an incredible car, but purely because I don't want to... Uh, try out the same things again on this game. I was in between uh, the Citroen Saxo of 2001 and the Clio R3. The Clio R3 was by far the best car. It was the fastest car and probably had the best performance and the best handling. Um, obviously we remember this car from uh, the Monte Carlo stage I did uh, back in our first video. It was a pretty cool car. There was also this Clio Williams. I was really really exciting uh, prospect of a car. I was actually going to do to select that one. Uh, the Toyota I wasn't really into modern cars. I want to try out the older cars. But at the end of the day, you know me, I love the Saxo. So even though it wasn't the best car, it was much slower than both the Renaults and the Toyota. Um, I actually chose it purely because I really like the car. Like the way it looks, I feel like it's a very it's a classic car and I would love to do a championship with it. So first of all we had the event here in Wales. Uh, of course the difficulty is always unrealistic and the driving style with all assists off. Uh, the conditions seem like it's day and it's also 2 o'clock once again. So I see a little bit of um, cloudy weather though in Wales and it's also raining. So conditions aren't the best. A bit cloudy and it's also raining so that's going to affect the grip here on tarmac. Right five into left five. Right six plus into left six plus into right six minus. Left three minus into right three into left four. Right two plus into left three long tightens. It's already, it already feels very slippery. And I need to try and keep the car away from that pavement on the side of the road. Be a little bit early on the brakes and all that. Uh, first two sectors were quite Left fast somehow, right it, despite my mistakes right on the first four. one. We were setting uh, quite right a good time so far. Seems like the AI isn't left doing so well on right those six conditions. Right As you can see, the gap overly is up to almost 8 seconds. Had a bit of a moment there. With uh, correcting the mistake that I made, but we're on to the final two sectors. That was a pretty fast section. And around this final left six hander, pretty long corner. We were about to end this uh, first stage on this uh, championship and we would actually get a very easy gold medal. Not very huge, mis not huge mistakes done, so that's probably one of the reasons we didn't fail to win. And that's our first gold medal for this championship with a gap of almost, I feel like it was something like 15 seconds. So yeah, it was a very, very good stage. The car actually feels very good. And yeah, the gap was 12.8 seconds and it actually feels much different 
from the kit car edition of uh, the Saxo. I mean, it's a different model as a whole, but I feel like this is more friendly. Uh, as of to say, the kit car felt a little bit more aggressive and it was also a little bit slower according to the horsepower. Uh, next up, we had a, a stage in Finland, so I was really excited to try out those Finnish stages. Um, they seem to be very fast and very tricky with those jumps because you could make a mistake whenever pretty much with those stages. So where we go for the second event of this championship, it's Finland. Let's get ready for some jumps and see how the how's the car gonna handle those jumps. Left five long over bump. Right five long over jump sixty. Right six long one seventy. Left three long fifty. Bump and right five ninety. Right six over bump into left six long tightens into right six. Right six plus and left six fifty. Right six minus eight. One point six seconds ahead on the right first sector. We we'll make a slight mistake there. As I was about to say, we're doing so well. That was a moment there, but we right didn't cross into the tree. So so far so good. Right six. We might right actually seven. lose a few seconds there without mistake, but left six plus and right six. We can get back into the AI. Left six long and right six. Right five plus long seventy. As I would have understood, the second sector wasn't a good one due to my mistake there. But this third one seems like a pretty decent one. I haven't made a mistake yet. Slightly around wide there, but still didn't lose a lot of time. And that's going to give us a lot of time there. 6.4 seconds from the lead now. Leading the way so far in Finland. Pretty conservative here. Last couple of corners. This is a very tough part. You need to watch out here. Not gather up too much speed through those jumps. Because there's plenty of corners. Onto our final part of this stage. Slightly touch the a sign if I'm correct. But either way we're going to end this stage. It's probably another gold medal. I feel like we had a pretty decent stage. And yes it is a gold medal. More credits, more reputation added to our tally. And yeah the, the car still feels fine. Uh, even over those jumps. It was a 7.8 second gap. We did pretty well. Um, that was a pretty good experience around Finland. And next up we got uh, the Australian rally. So another single stage. This time the conditions is said to be dusk. So let's see how these conditions feel. I feel like if it's not raining it's all good. Yeah it's not raining. It's dry here in Australia. And away we go for the Australian stage. Driving the Saxo. Let's see how well we're going to do. Can we repeat that? Um, success we had in the previous two stages. I really want to finish all the championship, the championships with fully gold medals. That's my initial target. Like if something is going to be so tough, then I might as well give up. But for now, I just want to have like the perfect career mode with fully gold, full gold medals or something like that. Right six plus one forty. Crest and right six seventy. Keep on right for narrow left five minus seventy. Right four forty. That sucks to be hitting the top speed for quite a, left three a while. Right five long. I'm hoping the engine isn't going to overheat. I don't know if that game has these features, but if it has them, then. Could be. Right side plus in, uh, we could have an issue later on. But I highly doubt right it's a single stage and all that, so it's probably not going to affect the performance of the car that much. Left four over crest into right six plus eighty. Right side plus long one hundred. Left six and right six over. Oh, slightly 80. wide there. Thank God we didn't run way too wide there. 
because that could really end our hopes of winning this uh, stage. Let's see how we're going to be able to do on that second sector. That's a 6.1 second gap. Very distant. Now we're about to end this stage. Uh, there's a huge straight there. Uh, apparently we have a left-hander to end this stage. I've pretty much been full throttle for quite a while now. And we're going to be ending this stage. It's probably going to be a first position once again. I had a pretty good run. And yes, it is a gold medal indeed. And uh, a very, very good stage. Uh, apart from one sector, I was a little bit uh, clunky through one, sec uh, one sector. But that is going to move us into 354th in the world standings. We need to keep an eye on that because that uh, world standing thing is actually unlocking us the Sebastian Lab events, which are probably the toughest events on this career mode so we need to bear in mind that we can unlock some events out of this gateway challenges put your reactions at the wheel to the test barriers are placed around the circuit each with three separate gates your aim is to complete the circuit in as fast a time as possible going through the gates indicated so that's a new event and it actually is around the Rallycru circuit and uh, as I've understood I'm pretty much going through some Three, yeah that's two. One. Let's just see how Go. it is, and I'm about probably okay. I had a pretty, pretty clunky start there, but you pretty much go through the barriers. I don't know if you call them like that. Um, where the green dot is, that seems pretty easy. slight contact with uh, that last one that was five out of five gateways and across the finish line uh, we're probably gonna be getting that gold medal I guess um, I don't know how this is gonna work out yeah that's that's a gold medal there I don't know how oh, it depends on points so it was down to the points we got 3154 points pretty close we could have missed out on the on that gold medal but it was probably the least interesting event if I'm all honest it wasn't bad but it was probably the least interesting and there you have it as we jumped onto 352nd on the world standings we've just unlocked the first Sebastian Lab event and as you can see there's plenty of Sebastian Lab events they are the toughest ones and the first one is here in Italy uh, where we were gonna be driving the Swift the Suzuki Swift S 1600 so I'm really excited to jump into these ones. There's a brand new car to try out. Perfect. You are now an official Sebastian Loeb events participant. Speaking of which, the organizers have sent you a message. Hi there, rookie. This is Sebastian Loeb. If you're listening to this message, you must be competing in the Sebastian Loeb events. I set up this competition myself in order to take your skills as far as they could go across a series of some of the most demanding challenges a driver could face. There are eight events held at tracks in various locations around the world. The driver who manages to win all the events will join Team Peugeot and compete alongside me in another car at the next edition of the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. I'd like to invite you to participate in the first event. Good luck! So pretty much about those events as you may have already understood from Sebastian Lab. It wasn't Sebastian Lab, but either way. Um, if I win all of those events at the end, the final event is the Pike Speak event where we're going to be having as a teammate probably Sebastian Lab. So that's pretty much all about it. Three, this is the first two, of those events. One, and go. this time I'm going to be driving right with not this camera, I'm going to be driving with this cockpit camera because that thing at the front left was really right annoying. I couldn't see where I was turning pretty much. And I have to say that this stage right six and right two was, um, I was, uh, this was the first time I was driving such a long stage on this game and it felt amazing. It felt amazing because tarmac feels very nice on this game, like it feels great on this game in comparison to the other two rally games that are 
we've been playing on the channel this tarmac left physics have been perfect and uh, they were very enjoyable and right uh, not as many right times as I had to do that stage in order to successfully open. complete it I had no issue whatsoever because it was such an enjoyable right experience driving around tarmac with that Suzuki Swift Left four and crest into right six long, tighten. The first two sectors were very technical. Minus and right four, uh, since hence we've actually down Jump by two 60, seconds there uh, onto that first sector. I'm probably going to lose even more time on the crest. second one. But then there's uh, right a few four, flat out parts where we could actually Jump gain a lot Jump of time. And left four, 70. Right four long over crest into hairpin left. Left three plus into right three. Left four over crest, 60. Right five tightens. Right five over crest into left three long. Right three minor. Caution, left three over I had a few right scary moments there, almost crashed into the wall, but left now the gap is right up to 4.5 seconds four from uh, first right position. I'm actually fifth three, at the moment, 40. so we're going to put that walk down and try to win right four, long, this right stage. Four, so let's see, plus. can we actually win this? Because right uh, this is actually my third three, try on right. this one. Right and, and I've uh, right had plenty of good final four. sectors, but always those first sectors would right six into left six uh, crest would be costing me way too much. But right five currently we are closing down the gap, so right there's two more sectors to go. This could be the one, the four, and this could be the, the one right where six. we're actually going to win our first ever Sebastian right Leb event. Just got to right wait and see. Left four plus, very long, 50. Right five and left five minus. Right four and right five, 50. Left six plus, 60. Right five, very long, tightens, and left five, tightens. Right three and left four, 60. Right five long and left three long. Right five into left four long. Right three over bump. Left six and right five minus, 90. Left I feel like my flow right has been four. perfect there throughout that penultimate sector. And that's gonna give us a 3.7 second Titan, lead 60. now as we're going right into the final the sector. Crest, 120. We had a pretty similar final sector, very fast, and it's also probably going to give us our first victory on those Sebastian Lab events. Let's just wait and see. And yes, that's a gold medal right here for us, and that's going to give us a lot of credits there. 54k credits and 9.5k reputation points, so 5.1 second victory here on our first ever Sebastian Lab event and that was such an enjoyable event I have to admit like that stage was brilliant brilliant job there on the, on the stage and the time and physics just feel amazing and um, by the way if you actually win those events you win a car and you win the event car so now we have just unlocked the Suzuki Swift 1600 and yeah that's a pretty cool thing to to have in our collection you know it's another car another front wheel drive car and I'm pretty happy to get that but next up we got an elimination event and I'm probably going to be choosing once again my Three, Citroen two, Saxo. One, I mean the Suzuki was go. cool and all, but I'm just going to use my Saxo, you know, I love this Saxo. Whatever, but um, away we go for that elimination event side by side with the Suzuki Swift into turn number one. We're going to be making our move stick, moving into the lead and uh, from now on we're just going to wait and see if the AI is competitive. If not, then we're going to be having a pretty easy run throughout this new Rallycross uh, track that I'm racing at. So, let's see how well we can do and if the AI is any competitive at all. But I'm already gaining a lot of time on the guy on second, so not really sure if they are competitive at all.
So it was a pretty much a boring event, I should say. I don't know why, but the the Rallycross AI is just, just very easy for me. Probably for some of you it might won't be. But for me it was a very, very easy event and we got another gold medal. As for the penultimate event of this championship, it was time for the French Rally. But this one actually had a day one and a day two. So that was a two-stage um, event. Two. And we had to wait and see. It depended on pretty much me being faster of all those guys on as an overall. So we would get the gold medal at the end, not for each stage uh, separately. So I had to be pretty fast around two stages, and that's never easy on this game because rally stages have been proved to be quite a tough task uh, for this episode in comparison to the previous episode where we had quite a dominant. On some dominant uh, rally stages, but this time round on that championship, it has been quite tough to get those victories. We get those victories, but it's not as easy as it looks. Left side plus 50. Left six plus 50. Left six 50. Right five over crest and left five 90. Right five very long into left six plus forty. Right six minus fifty. Right five long tightens sixty. Left four over crest opens long to ten. Left six fifty. Caution, right six into crest, jump 40. My driving has been on point for so right far, as yes, we've had uh, two very good left sectors here in front. Uh, the the right very hard thing about this um, rally location is actually that the tarmac is always wet, no matter what the weather conditions are. France only has wet tarmac, it has some dry patches here and there, but they the biggest part of those stages is wet tarmac. So wet tarmac is always very tough to drive out as uh, the gap is around seven seconds right at that time. 50. Caution, left five over jump long 50. Right six 50, left six and right six plus long tightens three and fence 80. Right four 40. Right six plus 70, right six plus. Left six plus very long, 50 slowing, into left two, 50. Oh, I might lose the brakes right there. Plus 40. Yeah, I just completely forgot about that left hander. Didn't listen to the co-driver at all. And that's going to be quite a bad mistake, but left thankfully we have 40. a 10 second gap. Right so it shouldn't really damage the result right whatsoever, line. I guess. Around this final corner, this left hander slightly wide through there. But let's see what's that gonna mean for the result here. I feel like it's gonna be first position. I had a quite a comfortable gap before that mistake, and that must have cost us around five seconds or something. There, there you go. 6.6 second gap from the guy on second is Three, Gabriel. Two, so one, now we have to go. be 6.6 seconds faster than Gabriel. And we're going to be pretty much getting that gold medal. So don't even have to be the fastest out there. I just have to be consistent on this one and secure pretty much the victory, the overall victory here in the French Rally. Left 3 minus 40. Left 4 opens 70. Caution, left 2 minus 50. Right six Currently leading with a 2.1 second gap uh, from the field. I don't know why we're getting a left red sector there somehow. I right just got a red sector for extending my lead. Uh, that must have probably been a bag, but we've got two more right sectors to go. This could even be a victory there and pretty much secure right the victory in that event. Flat out through here, the gap is actually closed down now. 
down to nine tenths. Somebody has upped his pace, most likely. I'm gonna fall out out through here. Can't really do anything else. Got some very fast corners as we're on to the final sector. Right six plus eighty. Right six plus long one thirty. Very fast right handers and left handers. Hairpin right. Just caution there. As we got a hairpin. Left five plus. Oh, I think I broke way too early there. I was a little bit scared, you know, sometimes the car just doesn't really want to brake, so I don't really understand when to brake it or how to brake so far. There you go. You know, I almost lost it there. Handbrake saved me, but we lost a lot of time there, most likely. This is now the final sort of straight sort of corner. We've got a left-hander there. Full throttle on there and across the finish line. Is that a win or not? That was not the best of uh, final sectors. It is second position indeed. Um, not a lot of credits gained. But yeah, only seven tenths behind the guy on first. And Gabriel, either way, is behind us. So overall, we just won this rally with a gap of 7.3 seconds. Uh, yeah, that's another gold medal. 40k right here and 11k reputation points and before i'm gonna end this episode i'm gonna be doing Three, this final event two, from this uh front wheel drive pro championship and it's just a a rally cross race this is probably gonna be pretty interesting i can see the guy in the toyota leading and right in front of me the renault cleo which is hypothetically the fastest car out of all those uh, front wheel drive cars over the jump up the inside of the Clio move done have a lot of uh, bodywork damage already I'm going in for that uh, joke lap even though I cut that corner completely just to be safe from anybody crossing into me uh, another car has uh, joined me into the Joker and he's currently in last position Lap number two and the leader is actually been taken down from the Renault Clio She was actually going for a victory there the Toyota, but all of a sudden He just got completely taken out from the Renault there while they were having a fight In front of him is actually a teammate of mine with a Citroen sucks so completely lose the control of the car there and Thank God the bullets have actually saved me there Up the inside the Saxo making contact. This is the final lap. That's why I'm trying to rass my moves there completely break check me there it's probably not his fault probably the joker entry fault but now everybody has done the joker lap and we're actually leading very comfortably i don't even know like the joker lap was taking up so long for the rest of the ai otherwise i would have been more chill there but that's another victory a pretty easy victory if you ask me uh, had a little bit of drama there with some content and all that but it happens it's just racing uh, at the end of this episode, we're cl we've climbed up into the 338th position on the world standings and the next Sebastian Leb event I have to be on uh, 308th position of the world standings in order to be there. As for the next uh, episode, we're going to be doing the rally cars from the 70s championship. Once again, it's got seven events in it and that's going to be... Uh, the job done for that debut championship of this career mode. So yeah, that was it for today guys If you enjoyed smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Make sure you like this video if you want to see more SLRE in the channel uh, Tell me down in the comments below what other video ideas I should uh, that you have pretty much and you want me to create content on them I've just started Gran Turismo Sport. I got the WC8 career mode and I also got the Dare Rally 2.0 Colin McRae scenario mode uh, with a new video probably coming out at the weekend, but yeah, that was for me for tonight until the next video I'll see you later. Goodbye